quite helpful in the last few councils. Thank you. Just a, just a few points. Uh, I hate to pull the woman card, but I understand that women are naturally team, uh, team players, so I guess I might bring that to this uh, table. But I would say about team and trust that, that uh, at the basis of that, a group that works together has to be able to rely on each other. And to rely on each other, I think we need to uh, understand that there's a great deal of work, a great deal to be read, a great deal to be understood at the council table. And so we each have a responsibility to be up to speed and to make sure that we understand all facets of, of what happens and what will be decided at council. Uh, and secondly, there's a need to share the load. There are many committees uh, that councillors can sit on in addition to coming to council meetings. And the more we share things fairly and equi equitably, uh, the more we can operate like a team and have trust and, and know each other will support each other. Thank you. The question is team and trust are two vital signs of a good council and of a good councillor or mayor. Explain briefly how you qualify on both of these important talents to be our councillor or mayor. Uh, when I came back to Woofville four years ago, I had just gotten out of the Army, which is a very, very structured team and very, very uh, uh, structured situation. And, uh, everyone understands exactly what their place is in that, uh, in that team. Um, for the last four years, I haven't been in the Army, so building teams has been a much more fluid and much more dynamic uh, situation. I managed uh, Just Us, which was a small business on Main Street, you're all familiar with it. Managing a small business, uh, you, you build teams in a very different way, and I was able to do that. Just Us was a co-op. Uh, working in that kind of organization, I don't work for them anymore, but working in that kind of organization, I really, really gained a lot on how to build, uh, how to build teams and how to work within a team. And also, uh, like I said, I've been involved in a lot of community events. Uh, putting on a music concert, uh, the venue, the band, and then the promoters building, bringing all of that together, making that happen, and making everybody happy really will teach you a lot about building a team. Thank you. Well, first of all, what we're doing here is nothing like what it's, to be on, what it's like to be on council. On council, one person has a good idea, and we build on it. We're not all competing with separate issues. The um, other thing that will happen on council is if one person has a dissenting opinion, there should be respect for that. Uh, and um, an acknowledgement that sometimes we can't all operate by consensus and we're just gonna have to go forward with that messy democratic thing where the majority gets the uh, impetus to go forward. Um, I think having council be open is also part of the trust issue. I think that um, when citizens come before us, it's just about as difficult as what I'm doing here, to stand up in front of council. And I, I as a counselor, I would encourage um, people to feel comfortable doing that and knowing that even if I wouldn't agree with you, I would really respect that you're there up and speaking. Thank you. For 28 years, I was the president of the Construction Management Bureau. I represented unionized employers, 450 companies, negotiating 50 collective agreements throughout this province with some of the toughest trade unions in the country. In Cape Breton, the building trades, for example, and we were very successful. Consensus, negotiation, making a deal. That's what you do. You build trust. I always have trust. I'm still a, un a union trustee, a management trustee on the Labor 615 trust funds. Why? Because they want to be there. I'm retired now, but I've used this ability on our council to build collaboration consensus. I believe it's vital. You can't burn bridges. You've got to be able to disagree but still make a deal. And I think I've shown that over the time I've been a councillor. Thank you. I think team and trust is probably one of the greatest assets I can bring to the table. I think my past record is as an effective leader, a good listener, we've got a good communicator, 
when you are president of uh, one of the largest teachers locals in this province, uh, when your colleagues at the Wolf Alliance Club uh, elect you as president of that organization, it gives you a sense of uh, accomplishment, but the same set, uh, respect to, to your colleagues, listen to their concerns. So I think the experience over the years has demonstrated that. Uh, a few years ago, I was, I was awarded the Wink Billard Award for Outstanding Executive Leadership and Trust and so forth from the Canadian Basketball Referees Association uh, as a college commissioner for this province for seven years. So I bring to the table a lot of experience in terms of trust, honesty, and integrity. Having served some, uh, well, nine years, three consecutive terms of council, uh, Prior to now, uh, being, uh, well, from '88 to '97, I in six of those as deputy mayor, eight of them as the planning chair. I worked with a team uh, on a regular basis. We proceeded with some pretty effective, uh, significant issues, and brought those to fruition in the new water supply uh, that, we, that we got in the town. Things like, well, municipal planning strategies, things like the reservoir park was developed. We did that through teamwork. We did that through the trust of each other that we were doing what we could for the betterment of the town. Not for an individual, an individual section of the town. Was it good for the town of Holfield? And that was the priority, and I feel that's what we have to do. Uh, we have to continue in that pain. Building a team, uh, the election will bring seven very different people together and, and what we need to do is find and bet, utilize all of the talents that are there that you give us as voters. So building a team, working together to ensure that we are using the talents of each individual to its maximum. That's how we're going to get the most out of this team. At the root of building that team will be a common understanding that we're all there common belief and trust that we're all there working on behalf of citizens. We're not there for personal agendas, we're not there uh, for, for power, we're there to serve the community. I think all these people at this table uh, have demonstrated that to me over the years that I've known them, and I believe that we can work together in trust and common, uh, with the common goal of serving you and making the best decisions that we can. As operating a, a business here in Wolfville for the last 10 years with 35 employees and a very successful business, I think the team thing has really worked well for me with my team at the store. And I put and one of the things that uh, struck me when I did decide to run for council and become a council member is being open-minded, listening to the rest of the councillors, because I recognize that maybe there's uh, another councillor who knows more than I do about a certain issue. Maybe his background gives him more understanding to that issue. Because as councillors, when you get elected, you don't know everything. And there's lots of things you don't, need, don't know. And there's lots of decisions, major decisions that you have to make. And I think listening to other people and their ideas and open up your mind is very important to be a town council in this town. Thank you. Okay, our third question for everybody comes from the Wolfville Business Development Corporation. This is a long one, so get out your pencils. Uh, and we're going to start with Wendy, again moving to my right. Council and various reports have concluded that Wolfville has a disproportionate level of residential taxation compared to commercial taxation. Wolfville has identified that it has a significant infrastructure deficit with insufficient revenue at its current level to address all the needs. <coughs> Wolfville's recently adopted economic action plan identifies increased commercial development and consequent taxation as an opportunity to grow Wolfville. What is your strategy to encourage new commercial development while at the same time maintaining a competitive commercial tax rate? 
And we'll start with Wendy. Okay, that is a long one. Uh, I, obviously we have to do things to enhance that commercial assessment. And one of the things, I have read the economic uh, uh, plan, and I agree with it. I don't think it went quite as far as it maybe could go. Certainly the development of our tourism industry, uh, retail and research with the university are three very good platforms. I would like to add to that the uh, promotion and attraction of footloose industries. Uh, our company is one of those footloose industries. We have uh, one major industry in this town being the university. We've seen what happens in places like Liverpool and Port Hawkesbury when their major industry hits a rough spot. If we could attract 50 small businesses who just need to live in a lovely community close to an airport and with good internet access, we could provide a, a stable economy and as many jobs as one additional large industry. So certainly that would be something I would like to be promoting uh, if I am elected to council. Thank you.